In this video, I'm going to show you ways that can help you to stop worrying and start living. You'll learn how to identify what's causing your anxiety, how to find peace of mind, and how to live a worry-free life. If you're someone who worries a lot, you're not alone. In fact, studies have shown that up to 30% of people suffer from chronic worrying. Worrying can be a normal and healthy reaction to stress. But when it starts to negatively impact your life, it's time to take action. Here are some tips on how to stop worrying and start living. Number one, recognize that worry is a choice. You can choose to focus on the positive or negative aspects of any situation in your life. When you catch yourself worrying, take a step back and ask yourself whether there's anything you can do to change the situation you are in. If not, let it go and focus on something more positive and rewarding. Number two, set aside time for worry. Choose a specific time and place each day to worry. For example, you might set aside 10 minutes every day to worry about the problems you are facing. Once that time is up, force yourself to stop worrying and move on with your day. This helps you not to allow your daily life to be absorbed by worries and helps you keep being productive. Number three, keep a worry journal. Write down your worries in a journal and then brainstorm solutions for each one. This will help you to see your worries in a more objective light and find ways to address them. Number four, practice relaxation techniques. There are many different relaxation techniques you can try, such as deep breathing or progressive muscle relaxation. Find one that works for you and practice it regularly, especially when you're feeling anxious or stressed. Meditation can really help you to ease your worries and find solutions to your problems. Number five, challenge your worries. Ask yourself whether your worries are realistic and whether you're blowing them out of proportion. Oftentimes, we worry about things that are unlikely to happen or that we can't control anyway. Challenging your worries can help you to see them in a more realistic light. Number six, focus on the present moment. Anxiety is often caused by worrying about things that have already happened or that might happen in the future. Instead of dwelling on past or future events, try to focus on the present moment. This can help you to feel more calm and relaxed. Number seven, be mindful of your thoughts. Pay attention to the thoughts that are going through your head and don't get caught up in them. Instead, observe them dispassionately and let them go. This will help you to detach from your worries and gain some perspective on them. Number eight, accept that worry is a part of life. Worry is a normal and natural part of life. It's okay to worry sometimes, and it doesn't mean that you're weak or flawed. Accepting this can help you to let go of your worries more easily. Number nine, don't try to control everything. We can control everything in life, no matter how hard we try. Accepting this fact can help you to let go of your worries and leave in the present moment. Number 10, seek professional help if necessary. If your anxiety is severe or interfering with your life, it might be helpful to seek professional help. A therapist can teach you how to manage your anxiety and cope with your worries in a more effective way. Number 11, identify your worry triggers. Pay attention to the things that trigger your anxiety and try to avoid them if possible. If you can't avoid them, try to be prepared for them in advance. This will help you to feel more in control of your anxiety. Number 12, avoid alcohol and drugs. Alcohol and drugs can make anxiety worse, so it's best to avoid them if possible. If you do choose to drink, do so in moderation and be aware of how it affects your anxiety levels. Number 13, get enough sleep. Sleep deprivation can make anxiety worse, so make sure you're getting enough rest. Aim for seven to eight hours of sleep per night and create a relaxing bedtime routine to help you win down before bed. Number 14, eat a healthy diet. Eating a healthy diet is important for overall health, 
but it can also help to reduce anxiety. Avoid caffeine, sugar, and processed foods, and make sure you're getting enough protein, vitamins, and minerals. Number 15. Exercise regularly. Exercise can help to reduce anxiety by releasing endorphins and improving your mood. Aim for at least 30 minutes of exercise per day, and be sure to choose an activity that you enjoy. Number 16. Take breaks during the day. If you're feeling overwhelmed or stressed, take a few minutes to yourself to relax and rejuvenate. Take a break from work, go for a walk, meditate, or take a hot bath. This will help you to feel more relaxed and less anxious. Number 17. Connect with others. Social support is important for reducing anxiety. Spend time with friends and family. You can also join a support group or do some volunteer work in your community. This will help you to feel more connected and less alone. Number 18. Practice self-compassion. It's important to be kind to yourself and cut yourself some slack. You're human and you're doing the best you can to be happy and achieve your goals in life. Remember that everyone makes mistakes and that nobody is perfect. Accepting this can help you to reduce your anxiety levels. Number 19. Do something that makes you happy. Make time for things that make you happy and give you pleasure in your life. This can be anything from reading a book, going for long walks, or listening to music. Doing things that make you happy will help you to feel more positive and less anxious. Number 20. Seek out positive role models. Look for people in your life who are living happy and fulfilling lives, despite having anxiety. This can help you to see that it is possible to live a good life even with anxiety. Anxiety is something everyone goes through in life, even the happiest and most successful people in the world.